I'm Nick Meyer and this is my wife Tara. We own and operate Meyer Dairy, which is a 150 cow dairy farm located just south of Sox Center, Minnesota. I purchased this farm from my parents and my father still comes out daily. It's really fun to have Nick's dad out here every single day. He begged his help and we get to make decisions together as a family. I grew up with a passion for dairy cows and I was fortunate to find a husband where I could extend that passion into the rest of my life and to raise a family on the farm. I love cows, I love working with cows, and I take pride in what I do every single day. On the dairy farm I wear many different hats. I help do some relief milking on the weekends, I take care of the baby calves, and I also take care of all the book work. Besides working on the farm, I also have a full-time job off the farm, so we keep ourselves very busy and we enjoy ourselves. I myself love animals very much and it gives me a feeling of gratification to see those cows out in the freestyle barn laying down, chewing their cud, and just looking so content. Where the cows lay we have mattresses that are made of rubber and they're about three inches thick so it gives the cow a nice cushion and on top of that we put straw down daily and that keeps the cows clean and dry. Cows are very sensitive to heat so we do our very best to keep the cows cool and comfortable. A lot of fans help ventilate the barn. Along with that, we have curtain sidewalls where we can open up the sidewall of the barn to get fresh air into the barn. Our barns are scraped clean every day to make sure the cows stay clean. And the manure goes into a liquid storage basin. To ensure that we're protecting the environment every day, we collect all the roof water and all of the runoff from the cement here and it all that funnels through this alleyway here and into this drain tile and this drain tile runs directly into the manure storage basin. We are very proud to have no runoff on our dairy farm. On all of our livestock buildings we have biosecurity signs posted at the entrance. We want to keep a close monitor on who's coming and going so nobody's carrying any diseases that could potentially harm the cows. Our cows are fed once daily, every single day. We feed at about 8 o'clock every morning after the cows come back from the parlor. We like to have feed in front of them. On an average day, a cow will eat about 100 pounds of feed, and the average cow will drink about 30 gallons of water a day. Our ration consists of corn silage and haylage that are homegrown, and corn for energy. And we also have some protein mix that we buy from a local feed mill. And that protein mix also has all our vitamins and minerals that are essential for the cows. We have a nutritionist that balances the ration for us. So the cows are fed the perfect diet every single day. Tara takes care of all the calves, so we'll have Tara explain the calf operation. There's 36 individual pens in our calf barn. We average anywhere from 10 to 25 calves in there at any given time. They are individually housed to ensure that there is no disease transfer from the calves, and they're bedded with fresh straw every single morning. This one was just born yesterday, so it's learning how to drink out of the pail. Our calves are fed pasteurized milk twice a day. The pasteurizer ensures that all the milk that is fed to the calves has no bacteria growth in it, so it's cool down to 105 degrees in the pasteurizer and then it's fed directly to the calves within seconds of being pasteurized. Each calf has access to free choice calf starter pellets which are made of both corn and pellets. The calves are in their individual pens for five to six weeks. After that they are weaned which is when they no longer get milk and then they are moved into small group housing. In that barn they stay until they are bred. Our heifers get bred at about 13 months of age, so they calve nine months later at about 22 months of age. Our fresh cows are housed in a small group size pen and sand bedded free stalls. This ensures optimal cow comfort. They have access to feed and water every day, and the small group size ensures that we can watch them closely to identify any cows that may have special needs. The things that we really strive for are to keep our somatic cell count low, ensure cow comfort, and also we want to keep a low breeding interval to ensure that those cows are calving and coming back into the milking string as soon as possible. We milk 150 cows twice a day in a double eight parallel parlor. 
It takes us two and a half hours to milk. Our prep procedure consists of stripping some milk out of each teat and then applying a pre-dip to the, kind of disinfect it, kill any bacteria on it and just to clean it up. And then we wipe it clean and dry before we attach the unit. And then after the cow is done milking, the milker automatically shuts the vacuum off and pulls the unit off the cow and then we apply a post dip to seal the teat up. We're very proud to be a grade A inspected dairy farm. We get inspected by the Minnesota Department of Agriculture uh, milk inspector every six months and in our milk house we have our inspection sheet hung up there for everyone to see that walks in. We get a print out every single month after the DHIA tester comes to the farm and takes samples of all the cows. This shows what the herd is averaging for milk production, how many lactations and how old each of our cows are, how many cows are bred, and what the reproduction records are showing as far as the month. One of the best things about the dairy farm is seeing the cows being comfortable and happy. I love the cows, I love their mannerisms, I love being able to work with baby calves and knowing that when they're all laying down, fed, and have access to water and how content they are. And at the end of the day, we're providing a safe, wholesome, nutritious product for consumers and our families.